Welcome back to Daisy. Okay, so just continuing from where we left off last time, I am heading over to the exporter. I uh, just raided a base. I've got a bunch of gear that I want to take over there and sell. I'm getting quite low on food and drink. I need to uh, refill that up. I'm noticing my health going down. So yeah, I'll take that gear that I got from the base raid and see if we can sell it over there. Let's just use up some drink. Okay, should fix that up. I'm just running with the uh, RPD. And I've got a PKM as well. Got a 100 round mag for that RPD. Oh, I didn't realise there was a military area here. I remember this area, right, from Armour 2. Huh, I've been here in ages. Don't really go through here much. This was like a little industrial area around Armour 2. It's all militarised in this. So how far is this? I don't think it's showing on the map. Oh yeah it is, okay. No, it didn't either. Two point five K. It's not too bad. Should be able to run around the outside. Now we've just gotta to try to avoid running into anyone though. All this stuff that I've got's worth so much money, so I don't wanna lose it. Got a bunch of different strains, I want to see what uh, the price for each of them is. They're all different as well, so they're going to be all different prices. Base being built now. Wonder if he's around. Lots of bases around here. I've got to be careful up near this bridge because there's always people running around here searching the industrial area. I'm just going to try go along the waterline, all the way along to the exporter. Just to try and um, avoid running into anyone. Pretty well equipped if we do, but still, it's quite risky doing this. I do want to try to get a vehicle at some point. It'll make this much quicker. If we get like a uh, quad bike or a car, we can pack all of it in and then take it all to the exporter at once and to the uh, if we go over to the traders as well got some stuff we could sell at the black market okay luckily not hearing any gunshots around here at the moment this area is well covered in trees so we can just run straight through here without being spotted, hopefully. It's actually my first time going over to the exporter on this map. So I'll have to see. Just trying to run a route where no one would really go. Hopefully, this is alright when I'm going. I didn't actually realise how much cover was through here. Should be alright. Oh, I took those goggles off. That sungle is quite annoying. The uh, military goggles. The only thing I'm worried about going here is squads usually go to these sorts of traders. So I need to keep an eye out. I'm just running solo at the moment, so. Okay. Some stuff in there. Let's continue on. This might be a good area to actually build a base down here. There's literally no bases in this region of the map. Plus you've got Siraja just straight up there, and then you've got uh Athena over there, the underground. Hmm. You got the export trader and the black market on the other side as well. 
Could even do that next time, just build a base over this way, maybe. Oh, a lot of open land here. Okay, I'm gonna have to go over near the bridge here. There is a lot of people around this area. I'm actually so surprised my base is still there. It's been there for like a month now, and no one's touched it because it looks so unassuming. It just looks like a generic wooden base. There's so much gear in there. It's kind of funny. So the bigger you make your base, the more people are just gonna like raid it. Let's take that jacket. It's got more slots. Very risky running down this area. Yeah, but it's sort of an interesting tactic making the base a lot smaller. Because most people don't bother raiding it because they don't want to waste their C4, thinking that there's not much in there. Oh, more storage. Okay, small storage box. Let's check this little area here. It's a bit risky, but. Okay, let's continue. Up there to the right, there's usually a lot of people in that industrial area there. So you've got to be quite careful. I think there's actually a spawn near there, so... I might try to put this jacket on here, it's got more space. Let's pull up here and do that. Okay, just swap everything over. Alright, that's got 49 slots, compared to 12. Wow. So that shirt holds quite a lot there. Okay, let's continue on. We're not too far off now. Mm, bit dodgy going out in the open here, over this train line. Hopefully no one's around here. There is actually a spawn around here, so I'm just quite worried about that. But we should be okay. Okay. So maybe you go up over the mountain here. Where are we going here? It's a bit out in the open, but let's go this way. Ooh, it's a bit of a drop off there. It's quite tense running around with all this gear on me. Don't want to lose it. Okay, so I do want to go to some more drops as well, which we will do after we go here. I want to um, try and get some more breaching charges so we can get further through that base. And um, see what else is in there. Got a lot of gear from this so far. So we'll continue doing that after we go here. I swear I had another C4. I couldn't find it there. Maybe it was only the detonator, I'm assuming. Maybe that was... When I picked up that detonator in another drop that time. Not the actual uh, breaching charge. Don't really go around this area much. It's quite cool. I just heard a chuckle. Hopefully it's not down here. Now, I don't think this is friendly at all here, so I'm going to be careful. This isn't a safe zone. This one, the black market and Mavs, Bits and Bobs. They aren't safe zone uh, traders, so gotta be careful. Just make sure no one's around here. Okay, some military tents here as well. Wonder if they spawn gear. We'll have a look at that. Just um, get in here quickly. Now, where's this trader? Where do we sell this stuff? Well, it's not this building. Hmm. More military bunkers there. Oh, here we go. Okay, 
Okay, so let's look what's sellable. Hmm. A roll of plastic wrap can be used with a wrapping machine. Oh, so do we have to buy all this and then pack it all? Hmm. Ah, uh, okay, so I think we have to pack it and then it sells for that much. I'm not sure. Okay, so it looks like this is a whole process you have to do. I've never done this before. So we have to buy that first. I didn't bring any money with me. Is there an ATM around here? Hopefully. Okay, so we gotta buy plastic wrap, shrink wrapper. Hmm. I guess this will be worth it when we grow more too. Oh, that all costs quite a lot. Did not realise that. So this stuff that I got must be worth heaps. So there's not somewhere we can just sell it directly. Seems like a huge process. That's probably why squads only do stuff like this. Not down here. We'll see what gives in these. We'll have to go all the way over to the ATM and get money out to uh, buy that stuff that we need. To pack. Okay. There is some gear in here. Wow. Okay. Might take some of this. Alright. I might have to do this another time because I'm going to have to get money in that. I'll have to withdraw it from the ATM. There's one near the Athena underground and then there's also one at the safe zone trader. For the uh, ATMs. Let's grab this stuff first though. Mm, that's a decent backpack. That's got more slots, so let's take that. Quite a bit of space, this one. Okay. Looks like not many people come down here. This must be a big process to do this. You have to buy the machine in there to actually wrap it up. We'll try it out, though, so I know how to do it for next time as well, when I grow more. So let me have a look. I'll just put a little bit out here. Just to see if I can sell it directly. I don't think so. I don't really use this exporter much, so... I haven't actually done it on this map. I'll just try it out there. Okay. Let's grab some stuff there. Okay, well let's head out of here and we need to go to an ATM just need to be careful we don't run into anyone here oh there's more over there as well those military bunkers okay so we'll check what this one's worth see each one is a different strain so it's going to be worth different prices no it doesn't look like you can sell it individually yeah so you must have to pack it all first we'll have to go do that at base and also go to an ATM okay let's check these tents yeah okay so you can only sell it here as well I was just checking that in chat you can't sell it at the safe zone or the black market traders we'll just check these ones for gear 2 alright the people are being quite helpful in chat can depend on the server whether they'll respond to you or not. Um, so let's grab that storage. Okay. What else is in here? There's a sniper mag. That's a little poor mag, so it's quite valuable. Those mags actually sell for quite a lot, the uh, any 338 mags. Alright. Let's see what each is worth for these. I'm actually not sure. I've got extra seeds as well that we can use to grow more. Um, I've just got to get the actual gardening kit that you can uh, put them in. 
But yeah, we've got pretty much every different type, so we're going to get a fair bit of money out of this. I'm assuming. Hopefully so. Let's head on back to base. We might stop in at the ATM at the uh, Athena Underground. If not, we'll have to go to the safe zone one, which is quite far away from here, but we could do that as well. Anyway, let's head out of here. Okay, so I've got some responses here. This guy is saying 30k for one type, 50, 40, and 60. Hmm, cool, okay. So we should get a fair bit out of all the stuff we have. And then um, we'll take it and sell it. So we have to pack it all first. And then also, I do need to get some more breaching charges so we can go to the rest of that base and get whatever else is in there. There might be more in there to sell. So we've cleared the entire bottom floor. We're just going to keep cleaning the rest now. So we might go to some more drops and try to get some more breaching charges. Okay. Let's get closer to base now. Over the other side of the bridge. So I might go straight to another drop and see if we can get some more C4. Uh, yeah, we need some more breaching charges. See what else we can get out of the drops. Oh, there's a big base up there. Oh, I'm going to be careful. I don't know if anyone's in there. Well, oh, okay. That's a pretty big base. Oh, that might be the one that I raided before. So it looks like we have quite a lot of money here. In all this uh, stuff that we picked up. They're worth like forty to 50000 each. So <laughs> we've got so much money there. I guess that's worth so much. It must be a whole clan that's put it together. One base there as it's flying up still. And a lot of food. Let's use some of that up. But yeah, we still got heaps of that back in the base, all the different uh, types. I'll just stop up here and use some food up because my health is actually starting to go down. I didn't notice that. Let's get out of the way here because there is a couple bases over that way. Alright, let's continue on. Hopefully that fills up some of my food there. Need some drink as well that's going down. Got another storage box there. So we can set that up. Okay, almost 1k from base. Okay, I do have a bit more food there as well. I'm gonna have to use some of that to get it full. My health's going back up now. <laughs> There's literally big bases everywhere around me. So bad you. Doesn't matter that my base is so small, no one even bothers going near it. Might just keep laying or, uh, layering it with doors so no one bothers to try breaking. It's still a small base, most people won't go in there because they think there's not that much in there. So if you build your base up really high, everyone thinks. It's got a lot of gear in there, so of course they're going to try breaking, but they're not going to waste breaching charges on a base that is smaller and just looks unassuming. The space I've had at the moment hasn't been raided for like the whole time I've had it. I've had it for weeks now. So um, I think that's a better strategy as a solo, just to keep the base smaller. You still store a lot of stuff in there. Let's get back in. Okay. Hopefully it hasn't been raided while we've been gone. No. Cool. Let's lock that. We'll put this gear back away. Alright, we'll have to figure out how to pack this stuff. Okay, let's keep this safe in here. For now.
you know, put that away. Just clearing up some space. So we can uh, take some stuff if we go to a drop. So we got some weapons here that we got from the tent before. The uh, military tents. Another small storage. Let's put this down somewhere we can fit it. Can I build it on top of that? I'm not sure if that will glitch up. Maybe just build it next to it here. No, no, let's just put that here. That should be it right there. Cool. Looks really dodgy the way I've got all this built, but it doesn't really matter. Still all works. So you can sort of, I wonder, you, you can sort of stack them on top of each other. But and so, we'll just sort out gear. Let's drop off some more weapons. Let's leave one of these in here. No point carrying both. I want to make sure I still have one if anything happens. Got 100 round mags on them. Okay. Go to another drop and we'll see if we can get some more C4. And then we'll go and uh, finish off that base raid. See what's at the top of the building. There you go. So let's head on out of here and we'll check where the drop is. We might actually extend this base out a bit in the future too and add another door so it's got a bit more protection. And it looks like the drops up the top of the map at the moment, it's quite far away. Might actually change the scope on this sniper. Let's have a look. Hunting scope. Let's put that on. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. So I might head up to this drop, it's quite far, but... We can uh, run up there, or we could wait for one to come closer to where we are. Oh, there's a big base there. Okay. Let's continue on down this way. And we'll head towards a drop. Now, I'm running solo, so it's going to be quite hard to get the drop. Because it's uh, mostly squads that go to them. So, we'll have to be careful, but we'll give it a go. Try to get some more breaching charges. Might check the airfield on the way too. And what other areas are on the way as well. I was just double checking in chat if you can actually buy uh, breaching charges at the black market. I don't think you can, but I'll double check. I guess it would depend on the server you're on, but yeah, I think it's only in drops. Okay, there's been an orbit drop deployed at the moment. That's the one up the top of the map. So we definitely aren't going to get there in time, but there should be another one close to us soon. We'll just see how long that takes to actually drop. I don't think we'll get up there in time then. I've got another storage kit there. That's so a single locker kit. Okay, the more the better. That's actually worth so much, the storage. It's, I've found a fair few around the map, actually. So um, it saves us buying it. So this is actually the base I raided last time on the right here. We've cleared that bottom floor. I just want to get through to the top. There's actually still stuff here. Yeah, still heaps of weapons and whatnot. Might just take some of those. May as well. That drops pretty far up the other end of the map, so let's take these. They're worth quite a bit, so... See, I wouldn't mind getting one of those garden boxes that are there to the right. I don't know if we can uh, disassemble that one. But um, yeah, we could get one of those and then we can grow the other seeds as well. I can actually put a lock on this. 
and sell it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's making me claim ownership if I do that. That's cool. I wasn't aware of that. There's another one here. Let's put this one on as well. See, most people running past this can't even tell that this is being raided because um, that front door is covered up by camo. So yeah, we've got that bottom floor cleared there. We just need to um, get some more breaching charges to clear the next area. So if we go to some drops, we should be able to get some more breaching charges. And I'm also thinking maybe uh, we could check some of those security rooms as well. I got heaps of security room cards from those boxes there. There was, um, yeah, heaps of them. So we can do that at some point. All different types of levels as well, security room cards. So that's for the vault doors, which has heaps of gear behind it. So we'll check some of those out as well. There's actually another big base across from that base, which I'm assuming must be theirs as well, so it's a clan together. But anyway. There's actually another orbit drop up here. I think it's already been deployed there, I'm not sure. Might be a bit too late though. We can wait for the next one. Should be down this area closer. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going to that drop because it's quite far away and it's already come in, so I don't think I'm going to get there in time. I'm thinking of going across that bridge there, though, to the black market. Hmm, maybe we'll do that. And there's also a security room over there which, which you can get C4 from, the uh, breaching charges. And I have a bunch of the uh, security keys, so we could go to that. That window's open up there. They must be in there now. I swear that wasn't open before that window, so that's open now. Some more storage as well. Keep finding storage, it's quite good actually. On the Chimara server, you can barely ever find the storage if the buy over. I think I just got lucky. Let's check this before we go back to base. This is where I generally find storage kits and whatnot. There's nothing in there. I'll just use up some drink because my health's starting to go down. Okay. Might have to use some food as well. Okay, that's starting to go back up now. Oh, what's happened to this base? Oh, someone's already this. There's even money there. Lots of logs too. Oh, looks like someone's raided this base. They've left a bunch of stuff behind. I'll take that for building. Why not? Oh, well, there's all this stuff also. Okay. <laughs> wow. Completely, completely destroyed this base. Those axes are useful though. You go through them pretty quick, unless you sharpen them. Some hammers as well. Can I collapse this storage? Let's have a look. I think I might need a screwdriver for it though. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Saves me chopping down trees, grabbing all those. That's full of logs. Saves us doing that. Got some stuff to build with. Okay, just coming back up to base here. We'll wait for that next drop to come in. Or we could go over to the black market and try that vault. I'll just see how long it takes for the next drop to come back in. Hopefully it lands up this way. That one's all the way up the top at the moment, so someone would have already got it by now, I assume. There's always squads that are going to them too. Okay. Let's 
Let's have a look here. I'll just put these away, the building material. There we go. That's quite a good find. I'll put this other box down as well. Got more storage. Might stack it on top of one of these ones. And let's have a look. Hmm, that can actually go there. Surprising. Doesn't let me put it anywhere else. Might as well put it there. Is that going to go through the wall? Should be alright. Okay, got a lot more storage now. Might be running out of space for a while. How many slots has this got? Large storage box? Wow. What is that? There's a... 500, okay. Let's put down this single locker as well. Can we sit this? It doesn't take up too much space, it's pretty narrow. Maybe there's a gap here somewhere. Let's sit it here. There we go. Might have to move my sleeping bag at some point. It doesn't really matter where we have this, it's just all storage. Okay, cool. Another 150. Plus all those other slots for the backpack and whatnot. Okay. Let's close that up. Just want to see about sticking out the wall. I think I've double walled it there anyway. I was lucky. Hmm, that is where I've double walled it right there. It's a good positioning. And just put some more of this stuff away. Let's fix this saw up here with the sharpening stone. Okay, there we are. Let's see where the next drop is, because I think that one up the top's already been got by someone. Okay, let's take that and we'll get those wooden logs and I'll make another door at the front. Okay, that should give us some extra protection, just in case anyone wants to base road. Once they get through two doors, they're not going to want to keep wasting their C4 on such a small base, if you put three doors. Ah, what we also need to do is reinforce the other doors with sheet metal. Maybe I should do that as well. Okay, let's just... Have a look here. We might do that so it makes it harder to break into. There's some sheet metal. Okay. Let's set that up there with the rest of them. Let's grab those nails. We actually got like 800 nails from that base that are raided. I'm just um, chopping up some wooden logs at the moment. Got a lot of nails though, we don't have to worry about that for a while. It's actually quite hard to find, so we got heaps of nails from that base. Okay. They're worth a lot too, like if people are selling them on the black market, the nails. They're worth heaps. Sometimes like 50k a box. Depending on uh, the server you're on. Okay, so if we add these in, let's have a look, some door kits, 
I'll just do one more for now. So we're gonna need one door kit. And then uh, two walls and a roof. I've just got a real basic base at the moment. Like I don't really have the flooring and whatnot. But um, yeah. Okay, so let's put another door down. Now, I'm not sure whether we're allowed to build it like this, but it seems to uh, vary depending on the server you're on. So I'll just put it there for now. Okay. I think it's a certain amount of doors you can't have, like, um, in your base total. But I think you can put them as close as you want. Just depends on which server you're on, but we'll do that for now. Just to um, get it more secure. Okay, I'm just going to line this up a bit better because it seems a bit too close. I think you can have the half a wall length apart, so if we put it about there, it's about half a wall length. Hopefully that should be fine, unless the admins are really picky. I don't think that should be a problem. Let's try that for now. I just didn't want to put it too close to the other one, because I think they might have a problem with that. But this is half a wall length apart, so that's generally the rule on uh, most servers. So let's add these in. Okay, let's do another door here. I don't need... I can use this as a hammer. This is the best thing to buy is this small hatchet rather than buying hammers, because you can actually use this as a hammer. So there's really no point in buying the um, hammer itself when you can just use this and then you can buy a, a sharpening stone to fix it up as well. It sort of takes the same amount of time too to hammer it, so... Sort of a tip for anyone that hasn't done building before. Okay, that should be fine. That's half a wall length apart, pretty much exactly. And that's what you're allowed to have, so... There you go. There we are. Got another door there. I'll have to put a code lock on it. I'll show you how many sheet metal it takes to build on there. Let's have a look. Got a little bit so far. We've got four sheet metal. Which one did I put in? I've got so many lockers there. It's good though, we don't have to worry about storage, so. Well, is it this one? There it is. Alright, so let's reinforce this. in that slot. Is that enough for? Oh yeah. Wait, is that for the door? Build sheet metal too. So you have to make sure you build it for the door, not for the wall. Which side do we build it from there? Maybe we build it from this side because we want it on the outside. Not sure if that matters, but let's try that. Let's build a sheet metal wall. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> Oops. That's annoying. Wanted the sheet metal door. I mean, it's good for reinforcement, but... Do we have any left? I hope they can't see that sheet metal wall from the outside. That's why I wanted to keep it all wood, so it looks like it's just wood. 
Mm, it can. It's a problem. See, it's going to look like it's reinforced now. I don't like that. Let's have a look if we can remove it. I just don't want it looking like it's a, you know, reinforced base because then people are going to assume there's stuff in here. I mean, my tactics work so far, keeping it as like a sort of generic looking base. People haven't bothered using their breaching charges on it. Because why would they, if they can go to one of those huge bases? Okay. Scrub that back. Let's have a look how much more sheet metal we have. Hmm. Got so much gear I need to sell. Just picked up a new code lock before, where did I put that? We can at least chuck that on the warden door. I'm gonna cover that sheet metal up so no one knows that there's sheet metal there. If they see a sheet metal, then they'll think uh, someone's got something in it. Code lock. Where did I put that? Just trying to look for where I put my code locks at the moment. So I'll grab one of those for that door. There it is. Wow, well, got so much storage at the moment. Took a while to find it. Okay. So let's put it on this door. Put it on the outside just to make sure it goes on this side. Alright. So that'll give us an extra layer of protection, even if we don't have this metal door on at the moment. It doesn't really matter that much. It kinda does with the C4, but it should be alright. Like if someone's breaking in with a breaching charge. Alright, that's all good. And there we are. Hopefully one of those drops are closer to us now as well, so we can go and get some more breaching charges to uh, progress further into that base. Okay. Let's build another wall on the outside. I just want to obscure my base so it doesn't look like it's got metal on it. It's really annoying that that uh, crafted a metal wall there. I wanted a metal door. There's not much I can do about it now. I might go to the crater and uh, get some sheet metal to do the metal doors. I'm going to leave the outside door warden though so it looks like it's just wood. But if someone breaks in then they're going to have to go through all the metal as well. I had three breaching charges for the base that I broke into, but um, it looks like they've got even more doors, so I'm going to have to get some more. I'm doing it as a solo player, so I need some more breaching charges. Okay, there's some more wood as well. Yeah, so if you're doing base building for the first time, what you need to do is chop down trees and then turn those logs into planks. Okay. So you need a um, hatchet, a small hatchet, and a saw. They're like the two main components that you need. Seems to be a lot of people that haven't done base building before, so... Just for anyone that hasn't, that's how you do it. Okay. Just put those there. Some sniper shots close by. Okay, let's make some more blueprints here. And just add in these wood planks. That's 20. Some nails. 
Grab another door key. And we'll grab some wall kits too. Okay. Let's take that back. That's good having all those nails now. We don't have to worry about finding boxes of them. They're quite hard to find actually. But you can buy them from the black market, but they cost heaps. So it's quite hard to get nails. Probably the most valuable thing if you're doing base building is finding nails. Or like having nails in general. Okay. So let's extend... Maybe we should extend it out a bit. I kind of want to cover that up there. Just so people can't tell it's reinforced there. Let's cover this up. Gotta get this tree out of the way. Sort of blocking where I can see here to align it. Okay. Sort of fell the opposite way that I wanted it to, but so let's have a look. Okay, so we'll have to spin this around because it's facing the inside. So we need this side here. You gotta make sure you do that when you build these walls as well. Has the arrows pointing to the inside. Because if you build it the other way around, they can just break that down. Okay, I'll just try to get as close to this wall as I can. Sort of a bit odd where it's placed at the moment. There you go. There we are. That is perfect where I placed it there. I think that's where I need it. Took me a while to place it like that. That tree was sort of in the way. So many. I can't remember how many planks it is. Let's have a look. So that should cover up that part there that's showing, exposing the metal. We don't want that showing. Oh, should be right. Okay. Ah, oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I need. Pretty sure you can't yeah you can't see through there, so they don't know that that's metal in there. That's all I wanted. Alright, too easy. You can kinda of see that little bit there, but I don't think anyone's gonna even notice it. There's actually an airdrop dropping just at Sebgen, so I might try to run over and see if I can grab that. where it was before the cement mixer. Well we got the breaching charges. Pretty sure that's where it was. Oh maybe it was there before. Let's see what we can do. I got a lot on me still. Still a couple minutes away. Might chop all this materials back just in case I die. Generally it's squads that are at those so I'm running solo. So let's put some gear away so we don't lose that. Before we um head out of here. The drop takes a while to land, so we should be alright. It's not that far from us. Conveniently, it's pretty close to our base. Okay, so let's put all this back. And we might just take a couple of things. Okay. We'll oh, better make sure we move any materials in this wall. On nails as well. Got 500 nails now though from that other base that rated. I do need to go over to the black market at some point and sell a lot of this gear that we've got. But um, we've got a decent base up now at least. 
All right, I'll just put some weapons away. All right, that should be about it. Let's head out of here. Let's get over to this drop. There's a metal poking out on this side as well. I don't think so. Even so, that tree's blocking it, so that's good. Perfect position. And this tree is blocking this one mostly anyway. Once it builds back. Yeah, I can't even see that anymore. Cool. Okay, so let's get over to this airdrop before it lands. It's actually been deployed now, so we need to get over there in time. Should be alright. Just mark it so we know exactly where it is. Okay. There's a base. This base is being cleared out. Oh. Well, someone's just starting to build it. I don't think so, though. Someone's raided the. Well, they're clearing out all the bases around me, I should be careful. Just try to make sure they don't raid mine. I've got three code blocks on mine now. I'm assuming, like, if they broke through one door of mine, if they realised that it has multiple doors, they wouldn't bother though. Because it's such a small base. Even though there's a lot of gear in there. Most people would think, oh, there's probably nothing in there, really. There's that drop. It's just coming in. We should be able to get there in time. It's only 800 meters. I was just trying to hear some food up. A lot of people are too scared to go to the drops because they know so many people will like, well, they know that they will have a chance of getting killed. So I just run straight in and grab everything. And most of the time it's successful. It's where all the C4 and that is, and everyone's always trying to buy it off each other and that. But I've noticed at these airdrops, there's usually a lot of people fighting around it. They don't run straight in for it. Whereas if you're a solo and you just run straight in for the airdrop and grab whatever's in there and then run out, like you can most of the time get it. Because it's generally groups fighting around it, not actually going straight to it. That's sort of my strategy as a solo. Okay, you can see those two big bases there to the right. So the one down the bottom is the one that we've been raiding. I'm wondering if that one at the top is connected with it. Because they're so close to each other too. You'd only really build bases that big next to each other if you're connected. Hope this is C4 here because we can go straight to that base and break in. We need more breaching charges. Let's hope. And I'm not going to have to find a way to go and... Um, Oh, some stuff here. Sledgehammer. I'm gonna have to find a way to go and sell all the stuff I got from there before. It's too risky not to, because it looks like they're breaking down a lot of bases around me, so I didn't realise that. But mine looks so unassuming, it looks so generic that they haven't even bothered. Oh, sniper shot. I don't know. I'm not sure if that was a man or... I think so. I'll just head down here a bit and circle around it. Let's try to avoid whoever's shooting there. Alright, it's almost landed. Someone else might be trying to go for this. Let's get in there. It's marked directly on it. I'm not sure if that's on the ground or one like on top of one of the roofs. Hmm. Where is that landed? I think it might be on the roof. Oh, that wasn't me. Sniper shot. 
Then you should dodge it. Well. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Let's get in here. Where did this drop on the top of the spoon? Oh, it's getting lighter now. Hopefully I don't get sniped climbing up here. I don't know where that guy was shooting from. There it is. Mm, dead body. Someone's been shot there. Okay, let's grab this stuff quickly. I'm a decent sniper, RPD and armor. So they've already taken whatever was in here. Wow, they were quick. Mm, nothing special. I'll keep some of this though. Okay, take this guy's gear. Let's get off here. Mm, that sniper must be gone. Well, okay, let's get out of here. Looks like they've already taken the C4 if it was there. Yes, yeah, so there must have been a squad around here. I'm assuming the one that was shooting at me must have been with other people. That should be a one tab though, DVL. Oh, it's 338, okay. What's the little person up, isn't this? It can be a one tapper depending on what type of armor the enemy has. Is there an exit over Can you not get out here? That's weird. Mm, there's no way out there. Looks like there's only one entrance and exit. It's a bit weird. I don't know why they wouldn't put one on that side. Oh well, we'll go to the next one after this. Wow, they must have been quick on that drop. They must have got up there, grabbed it, and then got down. They had landed for a while, so sort of makes sense. Let's take whatever's on this dead body. Oh, level 4 armor. Super heavy armor. That guy dropped that. I think he might have accidentally dropped it. That must be from the drop. Oh, wasn't very smart of him. Let's get out of here. He might come back for that. That's tier 4. Reducing damage by 80%. Wow. Oh, that's a decent find in itself. That is a lot. 80%. You get hit a lot without dying. Did I just see a silence weapon? Probably that sniper, he's probably still in the hill somewhere. Well, they got up there so quick, they must have just got up there, grabbed it, sl slid back down the ladder and ran out the other side or something. But anyway. Got something out of it. Okay. Let's get back to base and we'll wait for the next drop. Hmm, this sniper looks pretty cool. Hopefully the damage is pretty good on it. Might be like an oil or something. DVL. I don't think I've used this one before. Looks decent though. I'll try it out. Just wondering if it's a one shot or not. There's actually still lots of um, weapons in this first room that I've broken through. I'll have to grab all those at some point. Take them and sell them. AK-12, that's got a mag in it, I'll take that. AK-Alpha. All different variants. Not much left in there now. I've cleared most of that. Let's grab this helmet. Okay. Okay, let's head back to base and we'll try to go to a different drop. But at least um, 
we can still clear some more of that base there. So we're going to get through this staircase, it's all blocked off. Need to get some more breaching charges. Okay, well, we'll go to some more drops and try to get some more breaching charges so we can clear some more of that base there. But I'm going to leave it there for now and we will continue on next time. I'll see you guys in the next video.